Yesterday, in a letter to her fellow senators, the Speaker of the Faculty Senate, Tracy Hammond, expressed concerns over the handling of Texas A&M professor Joy Alonzo being put on administrative leave. I think what happened to Dr. Alonzo has created a real chilling effect across the university. There's been a lot of discussions about self-censorship, about what we can say, not just about arts and humanities issues, but we're talking about sciences, about opioid addiction, climate change. Alonzo, who's an opioid expert and professor in the Department of Pharmacy, was giving a lecture on the opioid crisis at the University of Texas Medical Branch when a student sitting in on the lecture accused her of criticizing Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. If we cannot speak freely as academics, then our profession means nothing. To be free in a society is to be critical and to be criticized. That's what it means. An open society requires conjectures and refutations, the ability for leaders and the led to criticize each other. And just hours ago, Hammond sent the acting university president, Mark Welsh, questions about the administrative leave policy, saying, quote, Professor Alonzo's administrative leave appears to have been instigated on a hasty reaction that short-circuited reasonable due process under the circumstances. We all really appreciate the words of acting President Welsh. But really, I think a lot of us are waiting to see what the university does and the university system and the leaders in the state government. We need to see an absolute commitment to the freedom of this university and the people here that commit their lives to education. And more news out of the A&M system. The Board of Regents will hold a special board meeting this Sunday evening to appoint an interim president at the university. Last week, former Air Force Chief of Staff and current Dean of the Bush School of Government and Public Service, Mark Welsh, was announced as the acting president of TAMU. Also on the agenda for this weekend's meeting is the authorization to negotiate a potential settlement of claims with Kathleen McElroy.